Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Let's Build a Zoo on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we built two more enclosures and we added three more wonderful animals to Crikey Zoo. We added the stunning red pandas, the glorious giant pandas, and then a large variety of cocks <laughs> to Crikey Zoo. I've been waiting to say that all morning, Wolf and Wolfettes. But what we're going to be focusing on today is we are first things first going to fill in this area right here, most likely with just a bunch of decorative items. And then once that's done, I think we're going to come down here and there's a few areas over here where I want to add some more shops and things because I think there's a few more shops that we still have available. So we might as well grab them just to increase our park rating, which is currently on 2,157. So a very good park rating. Oh my God, look at the puppies. Oh, oh, puppy wolves. Oh my God, they're adorable. Look at them playing with a little chew toy, all playing together. Oh, that's adorable. Oh man, I can't wait to have a look at the zoo when we're done. But yeah, we're going to add some more shops down here. Then I might sort out this area up here, make it a little bit more uh, neater. But I might just leave it like this, to be honest. But we shall see. Obviously, we need to get a Janet out, because apparently people think it's hilarious to just chuck shit on the floor up there. Flipping out, I didn't even notice that. And then once all of that is done, we are going to have a tour of Crikey Zoo and we're going to check on all of the animals, see what they've been up to, see if any baby animals have been made and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's uh, get straight into things. I'm going to leave it paused for now. Or oh, actually, I'm not going to be able to unless I've already got... No, we've already got janitors. Right, let me quickly get a janitor because I've got no idea what the flipping hell is going on up there. That's embarrassing. Okay, that one I do. If you want to see the zones, if you want to see the zones of all of your employees, if you hold down L2 and then you come down to uh, the heat maps, and then you, this right here is like the water zone, so you know where there's like water missing from your park for your animals and that. Then you've got your uh, decoration tab. This lets you know how well you've decorated and stuff like that. It's a, a bit of a nuisance getting this to 100% sometimes, depending on what you've got placed in each tile. Uh, then you've got your uh, bin map, so people have got access to bins. That's why people are throwing stuff on the floor up there. You can see it's all glowing. Most likely because I don't have no bins up there, but you know, it doesn't mean they've got a throw on the floor. I've only got to walk a few centimeters to find a bin, but never mind. Uh, this is the light coverage, so you know if it's too dark or not. Then you've got pathways, then you've got your um, entrances to all of your buildings and stuff. Then you've got your uh, animal keeper zones, and then this is your uh, zones for your uh, your janitors. So as you can see, that area up there didn't have a janitor. This bit right in the middle don't really need a janitor because, uh, well, actually, yeah, it does. Now, one can has been put in the uh, zone with no janitor, <laughs> but I didn't bother because uh, most of it's the enclosure. God damn it. Right, I'll grab one more janitor actually while I'm at it. Just because uh, I've, got, I've got tons of bloody money, so I may as well do it. I like how her name's Ebony, but she's white. Now that would be the perfect name for someone that's black. I reckon if I had a black kid, if I was black of course, I think I'd name, uh, I'd name my kid Ebony. Obviously because they're brown, that is the point, that is the joke, but... I think that'd be a nice name, Ebony. Don't think it'd work for a white person, though. It sounds a bit weird for a white person. That's like culling me, I don't know, bronze or something. It's just not much point, is there? Okay, right. And also, if you're gonna name me, you should be naming me Gold, mate. <laughs> right, so, first things first, let's fill in this area up here with a bunch of decorations. Um, This area is like a foresty sort of grassland area so I need to make sure it looks more like that and not necessarily like the jungle area that we made I might add a few I might add a few uh I know what I'm gonna do actually there we go and then over here I'm gonna place a lovely lamp 
And then unfortunately, I don't really want to place it here. But we're going to... Actually, no, I was going to say I'm going to place a bin. But uh, never mind, we're not going to place a bin. Um, we're going to get uh, some sort of signpost. How big is that? I feel like we've not really utilised any of these kinds of things. Like, yeah, we don't have to, but there's quite a few, like, cool signs and stuff that we could have added. Get an owl clock. Oh, there we go. A no swimming sign. <laughs> they probably need that. Some little devil's probably going to try and jump in over there and just swim around the entire river. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Now up. Up around here. Going to have a couple of trees. And I might stick in a few large trees. There we go. Uh, then I probably want to fill it in with some ferns and stuff. There it goes. It's a very, very like sort of like a very grasslandy area, you know. You get what I'm saying? How's that looking? I don't know if I want to put anything in the water, in the river. Couple of, couple of flat rocks around like this. Might have to remove all these after if it looks like shite, but I'm sure I'm sure it'll be all right. Oh, and then I know what I can do. I can add some like lanterns into it. go. Look at that. I think it looks, looks alright. Maybe? Yeah. I think it'd look better if you could see it like if you could flip it on its side and you could see it. I think it'd look better like that but you know we can only do what we can do. Lovely. Right. Now I don't know how long this video is going to be. I feel like it might be a bit shorter. It might not be actually because once we do the tour of the zoo that's going to take a while. Right. Now when we come down here uh, I want to add some shops. Because I feel like there's a couple that we haven't built. Right, we've got the gift shop. We've got the bar. We've got a popcorn stall. I don't think we've got a popcorn stall. Bloody outrageous. We don't have no popcorn, Wolf Morphess. What an absolute shithole. Worst flipping zoo on the planet. Lovely. We have, we don't have a uh, cafe like this, do we? I don't think we do. I just want to get the remaining shops that we've left behind. Because, it, like I said, it increases your park rating. I mean, watch, ready? 2208. There you go. 2218. Went up by a rating of 10. We've got the chip shop. Have we got a taco truck anywhere? I don't think we have one of these, do we? Feel like the uh, taco trucks and stuff might be. Maybe we can stick one up here somewhere. Oh, there ain't no there ain't no gaps anywhere. Nah, they're all gonna have to go down here. So we've got an ice cream van. We've got a gift shop. Taco shop. There's another one as well somewhere. Another little one. I don't think we have. Do we have that's it? Do we got the candy floss stand? No, I don't think we've got a candy floss stand either. Doesn't matter if you've got two, but yeah, I don't know why we've I don't know how we've left that somewhere. It's bloody shameful, that is. Right, pretzel. I'm sure we've got pretzel somewhere. Pretzel. We definitely got that. And what about the cheese one? I don't feel like I built this because it just said, yeah, I didn't build this one. Just didn't see the point in a bloody cheese deli. Just it's such a random thing to have inside of a uh, inside of a, uh, a zoo, a cheese deli. 
A turkey stand. I know of it. Like, who, goes, who goes to buy a leg of turkey? I don't see the point in it. I know we've got this ditton way. Yep. Literally right next to me. This one, did we buy this one? Yeah. Was that a cookie vendor? Oh, a cookie vendor, but it's uh, in the shape of a triceratops. Very nice. I could probably plop this right there. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. So tiny. Oh, look, a curry diner. Fucking hell, mate. I'm going to connect all of this up with a pathway after. Oh, there, there's the random egg cafe that I was going to not build. <laughs> I think that's... I think this is everything. Yeah, I think we've got all the shops now. Lovely. Right, let's connect everything up. Oops. Going on the wrong bloody tabs as always. Right, let's connect everything up. Lovely. And lovely. And then I guess... We can probably probably do something with like some sort of decoration on both sides actually. I'll just plop a few, just a few decorative items in the middle. Maybe. First things first, I probably should get a few more bins, shouldn't I? Or a few more ATMs as well. Let's get a few more ATMs. Got to make sure people can spend money in our park. Even though we're a multi-billionaire, we want to be a trillionaire. So we've got to make sure people can spend money here. Probably should grab another toilet, actually. Is it? Where's my thing toilets at? Are they all here? Yeah, I learned an igloo. <laughs> For God's sake. We've already got the rainforest restroom over here, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, no, I think we built a normal one. Or we could stick one over here. It's going to cause a bit of a uh, bit of commotion because the um, the queues for the ATM, the curry shop, and also the toilet are all like very close to each other. So there's going to be an absolute flipping argument somewhere. But oh well, never mind. That's not my problem, is it? <laughs> well, it is my problem. I built the zoo, but never mind. Okay, nah. Definitely ain't gonna have no room for that giant tree, am I? Because that's the one we put in the. Yep, no way. <laughs> I suppose we could get a few palm trees over here. I think they fit the whole dinosaur theme. Just a couple of palm trees. go. Right. Let's have a quick zoom out. Man, look at that, Wolf Wolfets. Look at that. Look at all my staff members coming to work. Bloody mad of people working in our zoo's crazy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Right, first things first, before we do anything else, uh, let me just quickly grab a thumbnail, and then we're going to have a tour of the island. Uh, I keep saying island. Do you know why I keep saying island? I've been doing this in every every single game where we're uh, building something. But um, it's because of Animal Crossing. I don't know why. Because of Animal Crossing, you're on an island. And I kept saying my island in that teeny playthrough. It's uh, become a habit in every game I play now. What was the other game I kept doing? It was driving me insane. Hey, 
There we go. We feel about our Wolf more vets. Think we did well? I think we did pretty well. Yeah. I think that looks pretty damn good. Okay, right. Let's uh let's have a look around. Okay, so we started off with the uh, central area right here, and as you can see, we've got this beautiful little area right here with a nice little, nice little lake, a nice little uh, water fountain, and then yeah, a couple of benches and lights and all that good stuff, and then a ton of shops have been built around it with several bins and all that good stuff. We've got some mascots in the area, and then it led in two different directions, and we tried to match the theme of like rainforests with. Uh, all of these dinosaur shops and these uh, koala bear shops and that. And then over this side, I tried to match the subway area. Um, not the subway area, the Arctic area. Uh, yeah, Arctic area. With like a nice hot cookie bakery. And then we had a nice hot chocolate shop, a woolly jumper shop and all that good stuff. And then we got the adorable penguins over here of many different varieties. But as you can see, they have not stopped breeding. So we've got a ton of them now. <gasps> We also got the polar bears. It looks like they finally had some babies. Oh, that's a, look at that. Look how chunky he is. It's not very often these animals have babies because they're more rare. These are the kinds of ones that you want to put into like a uh, breeding center. And even then, it doesn't guarantee that they're going to successfully have a baby. So, uh, yeah, seeing two baby polar bears is very good. Because if you go onto the release zone, uh, you'll see that... Uh, some of them are like critically endangered where they're nearly all gone. And when you donate those to the, uh, when you release those into the wild, it's much more better, like for your rating, I think. Could be wrong about that. Then over here, we've got some adorable walruses. Looks like they've been having a couple of babies as well. <laughs> I like how the babies are just basically midget versions of their mums and dads. Oh, lovely. One thing that we never built actually was an incinerator. Oh, we didn't need to, did we? Our animals are immortal. <laughs> Well, when you play on uh, standard mode, you need to get an incinerator to burn your dead animals, otherwise. I don't actually know what they do with them. So make sure you get an incinerator. Then you've got this beautiful little area over here. Not a huge fan of how this looks, to be honest, but ATM and all that good stuff. Then up here, you've got the sea lions. Big, aggressive elephant seals and stuff. Oh, lovely. These look like the seals you get on the beaches in England sometimes. Oh, lovely. What are you groaning about? Come on. The food you're being fed is immaculate. You've got your own personal animal keeper. You've got a big enclosure with plenty of room. You've got nothing to be groaning about, buddy. <gasps> and there's the baby, uh, there's a baby woolly mammoth. Lovely jubbly. Okay, then we come over to this side over here. Bloody hell. What's the price of my entry? $50, yeah, damn right you wanna pay it. Better not see anybody complaining. Is everybody managing, whoops, is everybody managing to get on the transport all right? Yep, 100%, 100%. Might have to grab two more of them just in case. I'm pretty sure 100% of the population has been able to get to my zoo. I don't think anyone's been left behind. Yeah, yeah, they should all be making it here easily. Flipping so amount of people in here is crazy. And then I built this nice little uh, rainforest area right here. And that leads into this area here where we've got some adorable little lemurs of various different varieties, some little babies as well. Got some uh, black and white lemurs, got some ringtail lemurs. We got some orange and black lemurs, lovely jubbly. Oh look, a baby orangutan. These are another one that don't like to breed. Got a notification about my animals. Oh no, just a birth notification, that's all good. Then we've got some cute little orangutan. Oh, there's two babies. Very nice. Oh, there might even be three. Then over here we've got... Oh, the baby black panther. It looks like Lola, my cat. Actually, no, he's got green eyes. That's more like Fuzzle. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, look at these little cuties. And then up here, we've got the very naughty Komodo dragons that like to try and burst my water pipes. Oh, look, he's hiding from me now. I bet it was you that did it, wasn't it? Yeah, you're the, uh, you're the guilty one, ain't you? Yeah, yeah, you're a naughty boy. Or possibly a girl. Yep, girl, sorry. You're a naughty girl. I think that's the second time I've done that now. Don't know if they've had any babies yet. 
The crocodile enclosure, they're getting crazy with babies. Look at the amount of babies. Can't even shagging like there's no tomorrow. Now, Steve Irwin would be very happy with this enclosure. I like how they go underwater and you can just see the tops of their eyes. <laughs> oh, I like that. Lovely. That's the uh, rainforest area. Then up here, we lead into the savannah zone and I've built this nice little area that just sort of separates the areas. But it's got a couple of little random streams and stuff, some desert rocks and cactuses. And then we've got just a couple of places where people could go and have a rest. And then obviously a toilet. This toilet is the generic toilet, but we should have built the uh, desert thing toilet here, but I made a mistake. But never mind. Then we've got a bunch of giraffes. Very nice. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Well, I can't pause it because then the animals don't move around. But uh, it's going to be nighttime very soon, soon, so we might have to skip it to morning. But we've got a bunch of giraffes here. Oh, hang on. I see it. Oh, there he is. What are you hiding over there for, you shy little devil? Well, there we go. Got some drafts, and once again, we've got a baby one. How about the tigers? You had a baby yet? <gasps> there we go, a baby Siberian tiger. Two baby Siberians. Siberian tigers. Shere Khan is still going good. Very nice. Okay, let's have a look. How's Hippo's doing? You had any babies yet, Hippo's? Oh, let me, uh, let me skip it to morning quickly before we continue looking at the zoo. I don't think they've... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like the hippos have had any babies yet. I don't feel like the uh, grassland... Well, actually, the wolves have had babies and they've not been here that long, so the hippos are just slacking. And I don't think they count as one of the uh, critically endangered... Or endangered. I think the uh, hippos are actually doing fine in this game in terms of, like, their... Uh, status in the wild normally it's the critically endangered ones that seem to take forever to breed yep everybody got into my zoo 2507 came in and 356 moaned about the price very nice right let's get it to 7 a.m and then we'll continue okay and then over here we've got our elephants also doesn't seem like they've done any breeding these ones, though, I, sh I probably, I probably shouldn't have added these two. These, these are normal elephants. They're not woolly mammoths, but they've got the exact same uh, skin. <laughs> so it looks like we stuck woolly mammoths in here. Oh, lovely. <coughs> what did you just walk away from that mess for? Someone better clean up that mess. Someone's thrown a packet of chips on the floor. It looks like someone took a shit on the floor as well. Filthy devils. And then over here, we've got our enclosure filled with zebras. It looks like they're having an absolutely fantastic time. What's going on with the rubbish? Sorry, but I, I, I can't be having this. Maybe let me, let me grab some, uh, maybe, maybe they are just chucking stuff on the floor. Maybe I need to just get some bins up here quickly. There we go, hopefully someone cleans that up. I have got, uh, I think I've got two janitors that have uh, got this area as their zone, so I'm not too sure what's going on with them. But anyway, here's my zebras, as you can see, they're having a fantastic time. Lovely. Couldn't uh, have too many zebras because, I was gonna put antelopes in here with them, but, or gazelles, but because of the, uh, the enclosure's so small, I didn't bother doing it. And then down here, we have got the lions. We've got some very menacing lions in this place. Look, I mean, look at those black lions. You all want to meet one of them in the wild, would you? This one right here just looks like bloody Mufasa. They've thrown their toy in the water, the little cheeky devils. Oh, they did make a baby. Look at you hiding out of sight. <laughs> Who do you think you are? So when I went to, um, oh, which zoo was it? Oh, it's when I went to, uh, uh, oh, I made a video of the place. It was the, uh, oh, it was the uh, zoo in Kent because I was sponsoring two of the wolves. I'm probably not sponsoring them, sponsoring them anymore because uh, it weren't me that was sponsoring them. It was just in my name. So that's probably been cancelled now. But um, 
yeah, I can't remember the name of the zoo, but they had like a baby gorilla there and it kept just hiding from everybody because too many people were like tapping on the glass being stupid ass wipes like always, but it ended up hiding uh, behind this like, I think it was like one of these like tire uh, toys and it was just hiding behind it looking at people. <laughs> just like that little baby uh, black lion was. Adorable. Okay, and then we come over here and we've got uh, another subway and I'm pretty sure, yep, that's a toilet. And then just a couple of random vending machines, ATMs. Then I built this beautiful little seating area right here, which I'm very happy with actually. Just a nice little area covered in flowers and uh, hedgerows and a bunch of benches with panda bears on so the kids can take a picture with a panda bear next to them and have a fantastic time and also have a rest as well. And also it increases their energy and it, I think it lowers the chance of them going home so they spend more time in your zoo spending money on things, so that's good. And I've got this very big snake one over here and I blocked it off with that torch so people stopped walking through this little gap because it was annoying me. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if people can get over there now, can they? Oh crap, I might need to... Nope. Right, I might have to move this down a bit. There we go. Because I don't think people can actually get to the snake no more. Okay. Um, yep, that's all of that. And then we built this big old enclosure over here for the wolves. As you can see, the wolves have definitely been busy. <laughs> we've, got some, we've got some adorable little babies. We've got, uh, so we've got the wolves that look like a fox that have had babies. We've got the uh, normal kinds of wolves. We've got the puppy grey wolves. Is there any puppy German Shepherds? Have you, been, have you made any German Shepherd puppies, have you, Sammy? Which is pretty difficult, Sammy, because you have been neutered. <laughs> is there any puppy German Shepherds? Somebody's hiding up there. But it's the one I want to see. Oh. It is a German Shepherd, but it's not a puppy German Shepherd. Obviously, it's not a German Shepherd, it's a wolf, but it looks like a German Shepherd. I do love German Shepherds. Obviously, Husky is my favourite animal, though. Lovely. And then over here, we built a petting zoo with a variety of different animals inside of it. But unfortunately, uh, these some of these animals are not cohabitating. Uh, I don't think the chickens and the pigs like being in here for some reason. I'm not sure why, because I'm pretty sure they both belong in the grassland. But I'm guessing they don't get on with certain animals. But yeah, if I click on it, see, cohabitation is only on half, which... It's not good because it will lower your park rating, I think, and probably your morality as well. And there's a possibility of them fighting each other. But we've got some uh, stallions in here, a couple of chickens, some very menacing looking cows, uh, those very menacing looking uh, thingy jigs, geese as well. Oh, there's a baby chicken as well, a chick. Well, it would be a chick if it didn't look like a midget chicken. <laughs> we've got a goose up there that's having a fantastic time. Oh, what else did we get? I thought there was another animal in here. Oh, I guess that's it. But we had something else in here. Oh, well, we've got that. And then up here, as you saw at the start of the episode, we've got a couple of red pandas and also giant pandas. I think they both get along well. Yes, they do. Oh, for God's sake, it's night again. And then over here, once daytime comes, we've got a very big variety of peacocks. I think I literally bought one of each variety and there's uh, nine varieties in this game. Or is it 10? No, it's nine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's nine. It might be. Yeah, I think it's nine. Was it 11? I think it might be nine. Either nine, 10 or 11, one of them. Oh, one thing we never did in this in this playthrough is we didn't get the uh, laboratory where you combine animals together. Like I said though, I'll probably come back to this playthrough again in the future. We'll do like a different zoo. Maybe we'll do like a, a Halloween themed zoo if possible, because there's a lot of... Uh, decorative items that look a bit Halloween-y, spooky. Uh, we could do something like that. I don't know how we'll get spooky animals though. We could do a dinosaur one. It could be like Jurassic World Evolution 2, because I never went back to that game as I forgot. So it could basically be uh, that, but with dinosaurs and in this game instead. Or we can uh, do a Christmas themed one as well. So we will come back at some point. There's a lot of things I didn't do in this playthrough. Come on, I wanna see the, uh... I'm not even gonna say it. You know what I was gonna say. There you go. And then we've got all the different varieties of peacocks. Very beautiful. Especially that purple one. That is very nice. And just the generic one. You can't beat the generic peacock. 
And then over here, as you saw, I made this little, uh, this little, just nice area with rivers and trees and stuff like that. Lovely jubbly. And then of course, over here, We've got our uh, admin buildings. We've got a warehouse where we store all of our all of our plastic we've uh, made from recycling. Also, where you store all of your farm stuff that we never made. We've got a surveillance center, which lets me know if there's VIPs in the zoo and stuff like that. And I don't know if it does anything else. I think this is a pretty pointless building, to be honest. Then we've got our release zone, where we release all of our animals if there's too many in the enclosure, because they won't stop shagging. And uh... then we've got our vet. We've got a water tower. We do need to build another water tower. These two special buildings make your um, animals immortal and gives you unlimited money. And then this building right here is where all your animal keepers go to get the food. And this is the nutrition hut. And this will uh, basically, this will basically make your uh, where uh, your um, animal center always filled with food. So you, they can always have, they always have food to collect for your animals. Otherwise, you have to manually click on it or go onto here, and you have to buy the food yourself. And if you forget to do it, then animals are going to start starving. But yeah, this is uh, just our our uh, our admin area or whatever. I was going to adjust this a little bit, but to do that, I'd probably have to buy this bit up here, and it might make things look a bit messy. But yeah, like I said, there's plenty of things we didn't make, uh, uh, plenty of things we didn't build. But um, like I said we can come back to this at some point in the future. But yeah, this is a uh, this is Crikey Zoo in honour of the legendary Steve Irwin. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Let me go on the camera. This is what it looks like when the park is packed with people. There you go. Oh, hang on. There we go. I had the, uh, I had the facal thing glowing, spoiling it. There you go. Look at that. But you can see how busy the penguins have been. been the bat. <laughs> you can see how busy the penguins have been. They uh, will most likely have to start being uh, released soon. But yeah, this is Crikey Zoo. But yeah, I hope you guys and girls have enjoyed this playthrough. I think yeah, in terms of commentary, some of the videos were probably alright when funny shit was happening with the animals. But I feel like it's just been me talking to myself whilst I build. So hopefully the commentary has been alright in this uh, playthrough. Um, I've probably already started a second game. You're probably already watching it. Because I might start alternating another game with this playthrough. But I'm not sure yet. Uh, by the time you see this video, Hogwarts Legacy is probably coming out very soon, if it hasn't already. So I will be doing that as my next huge playthrough. So, uh, yeah. And I think the other game I might be doing in conjunction with this one will either be Power Wash Simulator. If I haven't done that, that might come in the future. Or I, or I might be already doing it. And there's another one I was uh, interested in doing. Uh, I think it was called Seasons, uh, Story of the Seasons or something like that. But it's like a little indie game that looked pretty cool. I might be doing that as well right now. But I guess you'll find out. You know more than me. You know, you're watching this in the future. I'm recording this on the 31st of January. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end the video now, Wolf Wolf It. So thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf It. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.